Hello, my name is Jeremy Rossman, the faceless voice behind the camera who will not show his face in favor of the far more charismatic Kevin Taylor. And this is the beautiful face of Kevin Taylor, who's sitting right in front of you, and will explain what exactly is going on right here with this Peltier cell, also known as a CBIC generator. What we're going to do is generate a voltage between the two wires over here for electric current from simply a temper temperature differential between the ice we have on the top and the candle we will have on the bottom. What makes this reaction possible is the Peltier cell here in the middle. In those little columns you see, it's made up of two different metals. One of them repels electrons when it's heated or cooled, and the other attracts when it's heated or cooled. So the range in a zigzag pattern, so the current is driven in one direction through all the cells. And then that creates the current that we will measure in two seconds. Starting data collection. Ta -da -da. Voltage climbs rapidly, as does current in tandem. Oh my. Start it. So this is running off of, oh geez, so where's the hole? The candle's in there. Mm -hmm. And the ice is in there, and that temperature difference is running this motor. Can we light the LED? Sure. Diode, one way. <laughs> All right. Look at that. It's on. It's off. It's off. It's on. It's off. It's on. It's off. Oh. We have about 0.5 volts with no ice in the top and just a candle. So uh, much less of a voltage than we got before because there is no cooling element at the top. Until now we're going to add liquid nitrogen. I'm going to get a view. All right, that's enough, Kevin. We get 0.9, 1, 1.1, 1. 1.2, 3, 4, 5. Run the motor, Kevin, run the motor. Okay. Oh, no, we, our candle went out. You're not wearing any gloves or anything? stuff is, you know, you can be afraid of it if you want, but like... You're know, not, apparently? No, I mean, the worst it'll do is make little, like, tiny little spots on your hand. You know, like, look, I mean, seriously. <laughs> Wait, See, it, does, it, it freezes the, the water in your skin in tiny little spots. You get tiny little frostbite marks. But Wait, do that again? <laughs> okay. So you see them? Mr. Even if you leave them there... See the little frozen, like, ice crystals from my hand? Yeah. So I'll have a little spot later of yeah. frostbite, but, you know. Like but I'm you don't care. My, it's not like I'm going to lose my hand. You're it's, a crazy very, Liquid nitrogen is one of the most fun things to do because people are fascinated by it, but you can be very cavalier with it. I mean, well, you can be very cavalier with it. Well, anyone can. I, like, can't, I, was, I, can't, I can't be very cavalier with it under your watch. So as I was, <laughs> as I was getting it and wandering across some college campus uh, with it, I was thinking to myself, it's just not dangerous because it has no stored energy. Like, it's actually the antithesis of stored energy. It's, it's nothing. I mean, so it will suck all the stored energy out of your hand and exactly. So the kill danger it. is that it will pull stored energy from other stuff. But it, it in itself, it's is not, not going to blow up on you, right? Dangerous. As long as you don't seal it in a container that has a high, you know, tolerance. You know, if you sealed it inside of a glass container, you would not be happy. Ooh, that felt kind of funky. Indeed. <laughs> the marshmallow is less dense. Than can the we? <laughs> Perfect. It worked brilliantly. Yeah, now it's very clearly floating. Oh, not anymore. Just kind of a bit of liquid touching. And you can spin it. Dude, that is so cool. It doesn't go very long because there's so much air resistance compared to its mass. But it goes for a good while. That is amazing. It'll be on YouTube in HD. Do it before it warms. Can you hear the sound that made? Proof that the uh, that the smoke from liquid nitrogen comes from water condensation. So here's a dry finger of mine. 
and I'm bringing close to it. Nope, it's not that dry apparently. Let's uh... Okay, so dry finger right there. You can see the effects. Now if I get my finger wet... Wet finger. The water off my finger that is evaporating is condensing, making the smoke. So dry finger, not much smoke. And if I get my finger wet... Wet finger, a lot of smoke. Smoke, water vapor it is.